Welcome to another edition of App of the Week. Today's app is going to talk about Powtoon. Powtoon is an animation creator um, that is available for both teachers and students on your CMS Google Ads for Education account. So when you go there, you'll be able to see this already in your app launcher. You can always just go to powtoons.com. Um, this is a great tool. There's plenty of different ways that you can implement this. I can see it being used um, in a foreign language class to tell a story in a different language. I can see it being used in a science class to explain something like the water cycle or the difference between um, different rocks or things like that. You can use this in a math class to kind of explain how um, the steps of a certain problems. You can use this for, for storytelling, uh, all different kinds of options. You, you, you have a lot of talented people out there that can give you some great ideas on how you can implement animated videos into your lesson. So I'm just going to try to show you how it works. So when you get to Powtoon, you'll see uh, a few options up here where I can select an edited, a ready-made Powtoon, or I can just start from scratch. So I'm just going to just start from scratch, essentially, and just pick one. Um, let this load up. And as I get here, you're going to see uh, I'm going to have some slides that I have available that I am going to, to work from. And now that it's loaded up, you're going to see that I have a tutorial that I can um, watch if I, if you want to. And, I, and for the first time around, I'd watch it. Um, but for right now, I'm going to skip it. So here are the slides that I have. I can add more if I want to. Um, I can get rid of some if I don't need them either. Um, but these are this is where, you, where your slides will be. And then so all you have to do is you're going to start up here and you're going to select a style. You can go through here and scroll through the different slot styles and see which one you want. I'm just going to stick with this one for right now. Um, under each style, it's going to have these different options, text effects, image holders, things like that. You can select one of those. Um, um, each, or each one will have some version of that under their style. And all you have to do is just go through here and pull in what you want. So I'm just going to pull in this particular text effect. And I can begin typing in. Uh, whatever I want in this particular effect. Oh, app of the week. Hit apply. And I'm just going to move this around if I need to. I can adjust the font of it. Um, and you just continue to go through here and, and decide which items that you want to include. Um, I, and I'm going to drag and move things around. Some, some of these have animations where I can let it loop, where I can let it play, or I can take off the animation if I want to. Um, they have image holders in here where I can pull images from um, things that I've already created, or I can upload something that um, I have on my computer and just insert that. Um, and now it gives me the ability to uh, modify this image to uh, however I see fit. And that's essentially what, what you're basically going to do. You're just going to go through here, find what you want to um, include in your, your video and put it in there. You can include these action links where they can go to um, a website. I'm going to have this one go to CLN. Um, and you have all these, these items up here. You also have transitions that you can um, include in here. I'm just picking random stuff now. Um, but you have transitions as well. You, if you want to have a different transition that goes from one slide to the next, you can see each one of these currently has no transition. If I wanted to add one, I certainly could. I could just simply just pick a transition and drag it in here. And now I have a, uh, a, tra a transition for this one. So what I also wanted to point out is that each under each slide, you'll see each object um, in a little button down here, when you click on it, you'll see a couple different things. You'll see which item it actually is. You'll see this, it's this particular item. And I can see, number one, when the item comes into the slide, if this one comes in after one second, and I can see it lasts all the way down to the 10 seconds. So I could either shorten that or try to lengthen it if I want to. I can change it so that it comes in at the very beginning. Um, I can drag that, and I can do that for all my items. If I, if I want certain ones to come in a little bit later, I can do that. I can reorder stuff. So it um, gives me a lot of different kinds of capabilities with it. Um, some of these options, the text option, the image option we, we've done, um, we looked at. You can add sound to it as well. I can click on the sound button. I can do voiceovers. I can import, import a, vo a voiceover or a music track, or I can use some of these ones that I want to include in here um, and apply that one to it as well. So um, 
you can just begin playing with your palatine, pulling all these different effects and pulling all these different options. Um, you also have different transition effects over here where you can change how things come in and leave a slide. Um, but once you're done, you're just going to hit this export button and it'll give you the ability to export it to YouTube. Um, you also can export it as a slideshow and you'll be able to, to, to see that. And um, that is essentially how Powtoon works. So hopefully you get an idea of, of not only how you can implement this in the classroom, but also how it works. So uh, next time you're looking for a video tool to use in the classroom, make sure you check out Powtoon.